an AWACS type plane as well, yeah. I suppose, if they're that size. Yeah. Um, maybe involved some in some way. Right. Yeah. All right. And uh, do, uh, do you, have you spoken to Dr. Wood about the, the plane issue? She tends to sort of, um, well, s stick to the ev physical evidence of the towers and what happened to the towers. I know that she is interested in that evidence. But just tell us about, just give us a... Yeah, well, I mean, you know, she, she has always maintained that the plain stories are, dist are a distraction, but she has, you know, she's, she, she um, obviously sort of collaborated with Morgan Reynolds, who had done all the work on the court case based around the lack of plane crash evidence and using that as a way of, uh, you know, um, prosecuting NIST contractors for science fraud. So she had worked with him, and I know that they discussed it, and they did actually produce an article, you know, years back, uh, 10, 11 years ago, where Morgan Reynolds talks about the size of the holes of the planes. And I know that Dr. Wood did collaborate with him on some of that article mm -hmm. um, and, and some of those issues. But she has, I think, rightfully so, kept away from it until um, she's had more chance to uh, study more of the evidence mm -hmm. uh, so that she can prevent it in a, present it, I should say, mm -hmm. in a way that she feels more comfortable. Right, thanks for that, Andrew. Um, it's a very intriguing argument, and we're not quite at the bottom of it yet, but um, hopefully one day we will be. And if there is anyone on the inside uh, who works for a military industrial complex, who's seen this type of technology, who's got a conscience, and who wants to contact us anonymously with, with information, whatever you may have, please don't hesitate to get in touch. Remember, believe none of what you hear and only half of what you see. I'm Richard D. Hall. Good night.